what in his eyes he sees as the most beautiful creature on earth, the box jellyfish. The box jellyfish can resemble sin in a way that sin is tempting and looks is looks pleasing in the eye of a sinner. Uh, but ultimately it'll lead to death. So Ben took on the box jellyfish, which resembles sin, just like Jesus took on the sin of the world for us so that we, me, we may live. Ben acknowledges his own failure and realized that he was undeserving of grace. He could be the perfect recipient of grace in this movie. Uh, he represents all the sinful humans, including you and me, and uh, grace is we none of us deserve grace, and that's why it makes it such a gift from God. Ben Thomas gives to people who never expect it or see it coming. Um, because God loves us, he introduces himself and touches our lives when we least expect it or deserve it. Um, through Christ, God gives us the riches and forgiveness that in the treasure of his friendship, just like Ben gave his friendship to the people who he thought deserved his uh, his help and his um, grace, I guess, to give them a new life. And then uh, about the ethics of the movie, of the movie, it has a little, it has a bit of a consequential state of view, where the ends justify the means, where he commits suicide ending his life and giving everyone else new life and, and helps them a lot. So. so the major theme in this movie is definitely grace and redemption where throughout the whole movie Ben Thomas is looking for redemption and grace and thinking he doesn't deserve it ultimately make, uh, making him kill himself. Um, Non-believers can watch this movie and see Ben Thomas as a Christ-like figure. Um, an interesting thing is the name Ben means son, like son of God, and he gives his life to save others. And non-believers can see that uh, like pretty well I think like it's kind of obvious I think to see that he is a Christ like figure uh, they can see how people deserve people can get grace even though they don't deserve it because none of us deserve it and it's a gift from God and I think they could really see the Christian influence in this movie there's a couple quotes in the movie from ben, from Ben Thomas uh, one of them was all I was all I ask all I ask is that you honor my wishes and of course live life abundantly. Um, God wants us to honor his wishes and his law and follow in him and he tells us to also to live life abundantly. So the the quote is kinda Christian influence there. And there's another quote dealing with the lady who now owns his house. Um in the letter he sends her, he tells her to, um, if you're wondering why you, like, why why do you deserve this house, he says, well, if you're wondering why you, please stop. Uh, people may wonder why we receive God's gift of grace and love, and uh, God doesn't want us to wonder why we, we get it or deserve it. He just wants us to know that he died for us because he loves us. And that's the only, and that's why we receive his gifts, because he loves us.